The Birds and Air quilt block is a traditional quilt block made with half square triangles. Today I'm going to show you an easy way to make it. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. So Birds and Air is a traditional quilt block and it's made with half square triangles, but it's not just a traditional half square triangle unit that is a square made of two triangles because we can see it has a big triangle and then the other big triangle is made of smaller triangles. So that can make the piecing a little bit tricky if you're using traditional piecing. So today I'm going to show you how to make this with paper piecing. Before you start panicking about paper piecing, this type of block is a really great pattern for people that have never done paper piecing before. It's a great beginner piece to learn the concept of paper piecing. And I'm also going to show you how you can draft your own pattern for paper piecing. So for this, you're just going to need a piece of graph paper and a ruler. So on my quarter inch grid paper, the first thing I'm going to do is mark a six inch square. And I want to mark this right on the lines. And then once I have my six inch square, then I'm going to mark a diagonal line from corner to corner. And then I'm going to mark lines at the three inch point, just on the bottom. And those three inch lines are going to meet right in the center there. And then I'm going to draw another diagonal line from the three inch um, points. So here's what our pattern is going to look like. Now this piece and this piece are going to be the same fabric and then the other three are going to be the background fabric. So I'm going to mark this as number one, this is two, this is three, this is four, and this is five. If you need a reminder you can also mark the quarter inch line all the way around the block to remember that you will need a quarter inch seam allowance around the edge of this block. So once this template is made, we're ready to begin. So once you have your pattern drafted, then we're going to need three copies of this. And when you make your copies, just be sure to measure them that they are also six inches square because sometimes photocopiers scale things. So we want to make sure it's an exact copy and not a scaled copy. So we're going to be making four of these six inch units to make up our block. So to make these, we're going to need from each of your two colors, a seven and a half inch square, and a four and a half inch square. And then from the background, we're gonna need six four and a half inch squares. And then we're gonna take all the squares and cut them on the diagonal so we end up with these triangles. And if you look at the triangles on your pattern, they might seem a little bit big, but that's because with paper piecing, it's a lot better to cut your pieces slightly larger than you need because then after you've stitched it, then you'll be sure to have enough room for when you trim it down. So once you have all the triangles cut, then you will use the paper piecing pattern and one of the colored triangles will go on piece number one and then the background triangles will go on two, three, four and then the corresponding color triangle will go on piece number two. And so if you've never done paper piecing before, you can check out my other paper piecing video that will take you step by step on how to do that. But when all the paper piecing's done, you should end up with a piece that looks like this and it should be six and a half inches square after you've trimmed it and removed the paper. So once you have these four little birds and air pieces, we're gonna join these together to make the 12 inch block. And there are a few different layouts that you can do. So you can um, choose the one you like the best or just play around with them. So this is one. You can have all the birds flying in the same direction or you can um, move some of them around so that they're going um, in different directions like this. This is a really nice layout or you could have them all pointing out 
or you can have them all pointing in. So that's another layout. So I'm going to do the one that has all the birds pointing in the same direction. But you can see there's lots of variety that you can do with this. So I'm going to join them in this orientation. So there's the finished block. It looks great in two shades of the same color, or you could do this scrappy with a lot of different colors. No matter which option you choose, it's a versatile block with a lot of different options. For more quilting tutorials and inspiration, be sure to check out EBITDA Studio.